Today we're gonna cook crispy fried chicken wings by the way this recipe is from my sister-in-law Riza Flores from Abu Dhabi shout out to you I just add some um, ingredients here so let's try I have here eight chicken wings so this part it's hard to fry it so we're gonna chop it into three parts we remove first the small parts and then we will cut again the other parts so it will be like smaller and easy to fry just repeat the process until everything is done just continue cutting and then separate the smaller parts Now for the smaller parts, just remove the end of it, like the tip of it. Some they don't want to remove it, but I don't know, for me, I really wanted to remove this part. I feel like this is the, the nails of the chicken, that's why I wanted to remove it. I have a big bowl. I'm, I will just kind of dump all inside. Actually, I'm counting the parts. <laughs> I have a half cup of patis or the fish sauce. Just pour it over. Then try to massage the chicken until it's incorporated. Uh, fish sauce or patties I have here one lemon I cut it in the middle and I'm squeezing the um, what you call the juice of it so just squeeze it it's okay even the seeds are going there inside the chicken because later on um, you will not add it or when you're frying it or coating it uh, you will notice it so for sure you will not going to add it there squeeze all the juice of it I'm gonna season it with the uh, ground pepper and also a uh, ground garlic you can use a chopped garlic but I prefer the ground garlic here so you can add it depends on how many chicken you have but uh, I add it's around uh, one teaspoon of it and a half teaspoon of uh, ground bell pepper and then mix it well you can use your hands or you can use tongue or any other things to mix it but I really like to use my hands so um, all the seasonings will be all incorporated and then I'm gonna leave it and seed it for at least an hour and we're gonna coat it later I have here um, one and a half cup of all-purpose flour and I add about a tablespoon of it's a cornstarch then I'm gonna add uh, ground garlic yeah I love ground garlic and I'm gonna add uh, ground pepper 
around uh, one fourth teaspoon and then it's around half teaspoon of salt so the ground bell pepper or uh, the ground um, garlic it's around half teaspoon and then also this paprika it's around half teaspoon also so it depends it it depends on your taste so you can add more uh, you can try to taste the uh, the mixture as well like what I'm doing we need two eggs so in a bowl I'm going to add two eggs here and I'm gonna stir it later on So now my flour, my egg, and my chicken are ready. So we're gonna start coating it. Uh, first, I'm going to put it first in the flour. I wanted to coat first the chicken with the flour and before dumping it to the egg mixture. Then I'm going, uh, I'm putting it back again to the flour mixture. So just like that flour first then egg and then going back to the flour I really noticed that um, when you put first the chicken on the flour um, I get a lot of egg mixture on it I mean like the, the egg uh, mixture is sticking um, there on the chicken instead of like I will dump first the chicken to the egg before the um, flour so that's why I'm coating first with the flour and then dump it with the egg and then again to the flour so we're just gonna repeat all the process like flour egg and then flour until everything will be done just repeat all the process and then we're gonna fry it later I have here a deep pan with a vegetable oil on it which is almost half of the pan then we're just gonna start cooking the chicken cook the chicken around uh, 5 to 10 minutes on each side it depends on the part on this part which has many uh, meat I find it it's nice to leave it around 5 to 10 minutes so every part will be cooked. Then on the parts of the wings or less meat, uh, you can cook it around 3 to 5 minutes. This part of the chicken wings are more meat. That's why if you can notice that the, uh, the blood comes out. So you just need more time to cook this one. Uh, it's okay, just disregard the blood because it will be cooked later on. Just continue frying it. Just repeat the process for all the wings that you have and then done. Once the chicken are done, you can put it in a strainer or put a tissue on your plate. Mine, I really forget to put it but on my next picture you can see that there's already a 
tissue under that so the tissue will uh, absorb all the oil which is left on the chicken uh, you can try this one guys this is crispy and this is really tasty yeah this is the finished product look how it looks this is so tasty this is so yummy and this is so crispy try it guys if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe on my channel thank you guys